Hello friends, Yossi here. How are you doing? What to buy and what not to buy in Toronto's real estate market in 2019. What to buy and what not to buy in Toronto's real estate market of 2019. Friends, Yossi here, Toronto real estate agent, mortgage broker, investor, dealing with uh, buying and selling condos, homes, townhomes, uh, in the city, outside of the city, getting into the land and the development, and it's so much fun and it's great. In today's video, I wanted to give you an idea of where to look for good deals and what to stay away from. What, in my opinion, is good value and what is not. And the reason I think this video is in place, needed to be right now, is that there's kind of an equilibrium, equilibrium of prices, which means a lot of prices kind of becoming the same, but the product is not the same, and the location is not the same, and the value, in my opinion, is not the same. So what to buy and what not to buy in this Toronto real estate market of 2019. Okay, so I'm going to go through, I have a bunch of tabs here, I'm going to go through them and kind of tell you the story, so follow with me, any questions, comments, throw them in the... Um, in the comments, I almost always respond to everyone. Okay, and just remember the goal today is come out of this video with an idea of what to invest in because we are investors, we're looking to invest. Um, I'm going to start by saying this. The, the Toronto market is very, very good. What we're seeing right now is maybe a bit of a catch-up effect, but it's still very good and it's going to be good for a long, long time because this is Canada. 452,000 people, I, I, I saw, I think it was HuffPost that reported that came to Canada uh, last year. 452,000 in one year. That's 3,000 people a year, something like that. Uh, uh, a day, sorry. So let's say let's say 300,000 come to Toronto uh, out of that. You know, two-thirds come, come to the area, to the region here, GTA. That's like almost 1,000 people a day, every day coming here. They need beds okay everyone needs beds the people that come here need beds don't forget the people that come here the legal ones they come with money so they have the money and they have the money to pay rent or to invest but they need a place to live just like we do and we need a place to live and everyone has a child you know they eventually gonna grow up and need their own place to live and so on and so forth so <clears throat> we have immigration and we have a natural population that need a place to live and there is a global thing where the population is moving from the country to the city. Now, mind you, in the modern world, already 80 or 90% of all the people live in the cities, and that's going to be more and more and more, okay? Building up and up and up and increasing the density. So very, very important what to buy is those really good areas and how do we find them, how do we locate them, and what not to buy. The areas that we do not like, the values that don't give me value, those, I, I just don't spend my time on them, okay? So, for example, uh, just I was scrolling down here to Brantford, and there's 33 Jarvis. We have a few townhomes there available on assignments. We have 85 Morel. We have units for sale and for rent. And those are two fantastic projects because Brantford and the area is offering you great investment opportunity at a price that you'll never, ever see in the main region here in the GTA, okay? And then on and on and on from the sites. So... I'm going to start with a scan. I'm going to give you a scan. What I did is I just went to my yossi.searchrealty.co and punched in a bunch of, um, I went to my site at the bottom here, and I just I just hit a couple of these links, and these open right in, in the search, and that's a live search. So this is the King West area search. Uh, so you're looking at a fashion house, 111 Bathurst brand. So what am I looking at here? First of all, I'm looking to see if there's product on the market. Yes. Is there any new product on the market? I, I go by latest listing and I kind of look. Yeah, these are, I, I don't, that's the most expensive by bats. Uh, by latest listings, okay. So here, and I can see, do, do I, are there any new listings come, coming in here? Yes, I recognize some new ones. Okay, well, that's good. I, I kind of give the price a scan because I know this building, that's half a million. A studio, that's reasonable. That's half a million. A studio, that's going rate. That's an older building, so lower price. The condo fees are a little higher here in our balcony. Okay, that's a high unit, large unit, about a thousand a foot. Okay, makes sense here. It's about a thousand a foot. Makes so. You see, just by just by quick scan, I look at a lot of stuff in a thousand buck a foot. This one will be over a thousand buck a foot. Now this is still an assignment; it's not finished yet. So we'll see what happens when he does. What price does he actually get? Um, <clears throat> You know, I put an assignment on the market uh, just recently, University and Dundas, 
And I put it at a thousand a foot, uh, ten ten a foot, something like that, and I got twenty calls right away. So, to me, when I look at what to buy, what not to buy in this real estate market of 2019 here in Toronto, I want to see stuff that is good value for the going rate. Good value for the going rate. So if I look here, I'm in Young and Eglinton area now. So I'm looking at all these uh, projects, and I'm recognizing it's maybe slightly older, but I'm looking at the new ones around the thousand buck a foot. Actually, maybe even slightly higher Young and Eglinton. I mean, a Young and Eglinton is commanding prices slightly higher than a thousand a foot. But even just a little scan of this first, you know, dozen units give me an idea of what people are asking for. Remember, units that, that, that are too far-fetched on price, they have to be removed off the market, and then they either come back to the market at a lower price, or the owner just realizing, you know, that that's I can't get that price yet. i got to wait. And I've seen actually quite a few assignments and resale units recently that just been taken off the market because the owners, you know, they bought them, they got a really good price. Don't forget the last four years, we went from 600 foot to 1,000 foot in four years. That's fast. That's two-thirds of what we had in four years. That's a huge chunk. That's like a 25% four years in a row, something like that. Maybe slightly less, but that's, you know, we averaged some, something like that, like 60 to 80% increase in four years. So that's going to that's gonna cool off for a bit. But don't forget, these people that can get 1,000 or 11 or 1,200 uh, back a foot today, they only paid 600 a foot, some of them even less. So they go, well, you know, my mortgage is so low on it, or I already paid for it, I can just wait. So that's that's what you're seeing. That's a lot of, one of the reasons why you're seeing less listings on the market, okay? Uh, scanning here, what do we get? Take a, look, take a look at these listings and see how they speak to you. Now remember, if you're looking at a large unit, okay, over the million, over a thousand square feet, use even more cautious because uh, there's a lot of unique units at this range so they're not going to follow a formula but usually most of the five six hundred square feet units 700 800 900 square feet unit they're quite similar so you'll you'll see you'll see a lot of similarities there and then you'll be able to assess whether to invest in that one to consider it for investment or not okay so when i look at king west or yorkville or or young and egg or avenue and lawrence a thousand buck a foot for a good unit that's very reasonable in my opinion I don't really think it can go down much, if at all. Uh, the main reason is that I'm saying that is because the developers uh, are facing increasing costs. So the developers themselves have crazy, crazy costs, and they have to put millions of dollars up front. So they gotta get paid. You know that they're not doing it for charity. That's for sure. Um, so if developers and and you know friends of mine in the business tell me that the developers, you know, they, sometimes they'll pay three hundred dollars a foot for the land. In some some cases, that just that just before they even like did anything. So you know, a developer can have a cost of eight hundred bucks a foot, or even a thousand dollars a foot sometimes. So, <clears throat> so the developer will say, well, you know, the cost and and, and the uh, development charges uh, apparently are going up from fourteen thousand dollar to uh, forty by the city of Toronto. So developers will have to eat that and then pass some on to to the investors, to the customers, to us. So the problem is that the main problem is that there's not a lot of room here to um, to reduce the prices, okay? And the other thing is that, remember, real estate is a great hedge against inflation of all these things. So I put on DuckDuckGo here, giving Google a break because it's spying on us too much. So I'm using the Firefox uh, incognito mode today with the DuckDuckGo search engine. Um, so maybe I'll take a break from Google today. It's okay. You can try that too. Why real estate is the best investment, okay? So I just I just typed it into DuckDuckGo and it came with all these things. I already opened uh, the pages. So is one from CNBC. Is it really the best investment? And it basically goes over all the things that we talk about and it checks to see and do these things. Here's another one you found in the half post. So they talk about rental income, buying low, selling high, increasing quality, leverage increases returns, leverage make you profit, and a full selling price. This is a really good one, especially for the for the pre-construction ones, because the because sometimes the deposits are so low, uh, renting smaller units, renting to businesses, tax, 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 profit. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff here that you can do. Uh, here's another one I found. I don't even know this site, uh, but it looked looked all right. Uh, so it's a hedge against inflation. I talk about that about that a lot. Reducing taxes, you have more control, leverage, right? Because you're only paying five or twenty percent. 
400. Uh, it's a great retirement plan. Uh, just this week, I met with someone who said, you know, I want to build a retirement portfolio. I said, absolutely, let me show you which units I think will, will be the best for that purpose. Okay, so so that's what you get. So real estate, to me, is the best option. It is the best investment. It's also the most exciting thing to look at because you just, it just you know, like you can learn so much from it. It's, it's really everything that you know about life, you can summarize inside the real estate. So where to buy and where not to buy. So if I can find a deal, if I can find a deal for a thousand dollars a foot in one of the top areas of town, like King West, Yorkville, a center of town, a a Avenue and Lawrence, Young and Lawrence, St. Clair and Avenue, these kind of areas for a thousand bucks a foot, I think it's cheap. Okay, I think it's inexpensive to buy in these areas at a thousand dollars a foot. If you can locate University and Dundas at a thousand dollar foot. That's a steal. Okay. Here, King. Uh, uh, there's a. Oh, sorry about that. If you heard that, uh, not anymore. Okay. So we had a YouTube running the background. Uh, for example, here we did this five beautiful Toronto condos you can buy now. If you look at King West, that's fifteen hundred a foot now, and they're not going to sell it for less. Okay. All these penthouses, they they do go for very high amount and higher than higher than a thousand dollar a foot a lot of them already do okay so because a lot of them already do that that, that if you can find a future one for a thousand dollar a foot you're doing great and again you can click on any of these areas here and you'll pop up the most recent listings through here and then click on the link and you'll find it uh, there's also a shortcut right down here so you can see right here okay so to summarize what to buy and what not to buy, look for the best value. Um, if you offered an A location with view and it's really good for a $1,000 food, it's a lot better deal than if you offered a C location by the train, by the train tracks and a building that is now completed and they originally sold for 600 bucks a foot, you know they're not going to have enough money to make it like uber luxury, even luxury, just another building. So the trick to investing in 2019 and you're going to make a lot of money in 2019 a lot of people are going to make a lot of money the people who are a positive mindset and want to go for it they will find it you know they will find it because there's always a deal to there's always a deal to find there's always a good investment okay so look for these good investments look for the value give me a shout if you want to talk about anything or put some comments happy to help thank you very much you'll see you